Alright, well, as a kid, I grew up Catholic. My dad was Catholic, my mom was Protestant. There was a lot of Jesus happening in the house. Um, and there was an understanding that, you know, I was to follow Christ. But it wasn't mine, you know? It was my parents. It was, it was something that they wanted me to do, and there was really no personal encounter with that. Um, and what I was seeing compared to what I was hearing just didn't match up. It was different. It felt, it felt fake. It felt phony. It felt like Christianity was, you know, something out of a fairy tale that we were supposed to believe in, but wasn't really something that we can actually practice. So I decided that just, you know, out of obedience from my parents, you know, follow through the motions. But ultimately, it was just something that I felt disconnected from. And I disconnected myself from it for a long time. And because of that disconnect, I found myself getting caught up in a lot of the world's promises that were all pretty much lies, you know. Um, I became all about women, all about lust. I, I was all about me. Um, I just wanted to be popular, I wanted to be respected, I even wanted to be feared. Um, it was something that was weird. And growing up in the environment that I grew up in, it was a common inner city trend to kind of be a tough individual, you know, and, and have that rough exterior. And it became a part of who I was. I wasn't a Christian, I wasn't a human being, I was an inner city kid with a rough exterior. And then an invite was proposed, you know. Um, one of my sponsors, I called him my padrino, you know, asked me if I would go on a retreat. And I was, I was done. I didn't want to go on these dumb retreats. I've already done it. I've already heard the Jesus talk. I've already heard about the Bible. I didn't want to do it. And, you know, he, he got me to get on the bus eventually. He sweetened the deal by telling me I'd get to meet girls. And I, I jumped on that bus immediately after that. But I went on this bus with this expectation that I was going to fall in love. I mean, the only reason that I went was to fall in love. He said, girls, I said, fall in love. So I got on the bus and needless to say, I ended up falling in love, but not with a girl, but with the church. And I fell in love with Christ through the church on this experience. It wasn't a real quick wham, bam, it happened. And then all of a sudden, miraculously, I'm in love, but it was more like, I just wanted to know who this person was. I wanted to encounter that a little bit more. So with that being said, I genuinely decided that I was gonna just go for it. And when I did and said yes to Christ, it was completely different than anything I expected it to be. And now things are different because now I'm following full force and making sure that people know that, hey, listen, there's a past me, but now there's a new me. And um, that's basically the, in a nutshell, in a nutshell. And it's perpetually happening. I'm constantly having conversion moments within the faith. But that was the, the moment as a high schooler that transitioned me out of the hood and into the good, you know, for, for lack of better terms.